There's a big problem at the bottom of this hole in a woman's yard in Hepzibah. She says it's all thanks to the recent rain. Augusta Utilities has been at the home a number of times to try to fix that issue, but a neighbor tells us it is still a problem. Hallie Turner live for us. So Hallie, what is the problem in the yard behind you? Well, Richard and Laura, at first glance, this yard looks normal. That is until you get closer or you see some of these red and yellow flags or you get near this shovel. And if you pick it up, um, you might not want to step there uh, because it's literally seeping in. And when there's a big storm like what we're experiencing this week, you're going to see what you saw on your screen just a minute ago. This green grass is going to disappear. And the homeowners say it's been like this for the past three years. Every time it rains, we end up with a hole in the yard. The more it rains, the bigger the hole gets. All starting when the city says a pipe burst in 2019. It was a pond. I had a kaiser in my, my, front, my yeah. front yard. was full of, full of water all the time. After filing a report with the city, the issues didn't go away. Vondria Armstrong says they grew. Problem is, is that you think the, the ground is solid, but if you can take a broom handle, it will disappear in the hole. That's a problem. Three water main leak reports turned into four sinkhole reports, becoming a quick fix that didn't stick. I don't care how much dirt they put in it. They've been here three times to fill the hole. Um, they didn't tamp it. They'll, you know, they'll give us some grass seeds, some rye hay or whatever you call it. Um, and then it rains again and we're right back in the same situation. When News 12 contacted engineering, they said they weren't aware of sinkhole issues here. I don't know why the city is saying utilities. They don't know anything, don't know anything about what's going on here. There's plenty of documentation to prove that. Countless open records requests, videos, phone calls, and the engineering department went silent until yesterday. I was on my way out the door and ding dong, it was Vincent Miller. I hadn't heard from him in a while. <laughs> He's, he asked me to give him 36 days. But they don't know what to do anymore. Why should I believe him? That's my question. Why should I believe him? Because they've been telling us this for quite a while. And while everything can't be fixed in the blink of an eye, we're sitting down with the head of engineering tomorrow morning to hear how they plan to fix this issue, where the storm fee money is going, and when those who live right here in Wood Lakes can expect some change. A frustrating problem, Hallie, especially on a week like this where it's rained just about every day. Thanks for the live update there from Hepsiba.